focus on Asia. Um, still in Singapore, and uh, got some sad news. Uh, about a week ago, my uncle passed away, my uncle Tom. Uh, he lives in California pretty much his whole life from, from when he was uh, about 19, 18, 19, 20 years old. He moved out to California from, from Massachusetts, where, where my family's from. And uh, I think it's appropriate to do a, you know, dedicate this video, Singapore video, to him. Uh, he's the first person I ever heard talk about Singapore or, or, or who had been to Singapore. Um, in the late 80s, he owned a uh, publishing company, had a publishing company that did postcards and, and uh, shopping bags and other, other kind of neat material using uh, images, graphics from um, orange crate labels and fruit crate labels. Uh, at one time, my uncle had like one of the world's largest collection of those labels um, back in the 60s. Um, 70s, he would go to uh, warehouses where the uh, fruit crate labels were stored. Uh, they no longer used them, and uh, he would ask them if uh, he could have them. And a lot of these places just gave them to him. And uh, some places uh, they wanted a little money for him, so he paid like pennies on the dollar. And he basically amassed one of the world's largest collections of it. And 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 in that, he was able to get the rights on a lot of the labels, and so decided to make postcards and stuff and uh, other you know things you could sell using those images and uh, so he traveled to Singapore like I mentioned uh, to get the postcards made back in the late 80s and uh, I remember him you know telling me about how well he was treated as a customer out here in Singapore and, and uh, the business took him to you know some nice restaurants while he was here on his visit um, I think he came here. At, uh, it might have been two times. I'm, I'm not 100% on that. I know, you know, obviously he came here once. So, uh, but it just brought back a memory uh, being here in Singapore and uh, here about hearing about my uncle's passing. He uh, had a battle with pneumonia and, and unfortunately uh, couldn't recover from it. So he was uh, 77 years old. So I thought this would just be appropriate time to pay my condolences to uh, his wife Cotty his ex-wife, my aunt Janie, uh, my mom of course, his sister, his younger sister, uh, and his two older brothers who, who still, uh, my uncle Ray and my uncle Frank, and he had one brother who had previously deceased my uncle Jerry, so uh, he will be missed, many friends. Um, if you get a chance, if you want to, you know, check out, um, there's still a website for Mad Dogs. Uh, postcards uh, that that is uh, him and his wife's business uh, still have postcards available um, and then uh, also uh, check out Santa Rumba do a search on that song it's one of the most popular uh, songs on the Christmas time of year and uh, that's a song that him and his band did he, he was in a kind of like a swing band uh, in Sacramento California he used to do a lot of fundraisers and uh, got to see him play a few times. Uh, he played drums, but he also did uh, lead vocals a lot. And uh, he, he did lead vocals in the Santa Rumba. There's a video for it. So uh, if you get a chance, check it out. It's kind of a neat, neat uh, video and a pretty cool song. So uh, my Uncle Tom will be missed. Uh, he, he was a, uh, a father figure in my life. Uh, I didn't grow up with a father. And uh, even though my uncle lived three, 4,000 miles away, he was always available and uh, even flew me out there when I was about 13 and uh, went camping and stuff out there in Northern California. First trip, you know, by myself going somewhere. So that was pretty cool. So uh, I will miss him and I thought this would be a good time to uh, pay my respect to him. So. This is today's uh, first food center. Let's go check it out. Zion Riverside. River's right here. To my left. 
see it. Let's go check out this food center. I'm hungry. I think it's around 12. We haven't eaten yet. So, let's go check it out. Oh yeah, not just those. On the stalls, very busy. Show you around a little bit, and then we'll uh, get some food. It's not huge, but it's a uh, decent size. So. Let's go get some food. I love these uh, hawker centers. This is Saya taking pictures over there. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Saya's got her food. She got her uh, fried fish. Looks like uh, I don't know, milk fish. What kind of fish? Some sort of fish. Green beans. Got some sambal. I already tasted that. That's actually pretty good. A fried egg, rice. That was six fifty. So. Oh, five bucks, a little less. Uh, Coca-Cola, vitamin C for me. And Mrs. Saya got a vitamin C for her, a coconut. And that was uh, 4 dollars for those. I've got a mixed grill coming from this Sang Huat Western. It's basically uh, chicken and maybe pork or something, french fries, kind of a Western style dish. And that's uh, $10.50. So, I'll show you that here in a sec and uh, put a total. All right, I'm hungry, but I don't know if I'm this hungry. This is your Western plate for 10.50, which is about I don't know about eight bucks U.S. Chicken. I assume this is a pork chop, egg, hot dog. You gotta have a hot dog for Western. Beans, kind of English style. Fries, couple chicken wings. Yeah. So. Gonna get to eating. Like I said, this was 10 to 50. Put the total of everything all together. How's your fish? Good? Thumbs up? Yeah. All right. Show you one more round about this place. middle of the urban jungle at this really nice tranquil park over here got a therapeutic garden it's called got a lot of uh, the exercise machines in which I, I think it's really cool I always like these uh, kind of free gyms in the parks Got these beautiful trees here with the flowers. It's amazing how big these, it's the same uh, plant we have on our upper porch. And once you put it in the ground, it's amazing how big these things get. But yeah, you can see people exercising over here. Really nice park, really done well. I don't want to get a close-up of any of the kids and I don't like putting kids in the video when I, when I can uh, refrain from it. But anyways, a nice, really nice pay playground over here for the kids in this park. Uh, there's a bunch of people kind of organized the uh, trash pickup, man. Little kids picking it up with their, with their, with their parents, their mom. And uh, this, you know, Singapore as a whole is ungodly clean compared to <laughs> any other big city, I think, in the world. Um, but it's really nice to see people 
organizing you know in the park that they use a uh, you know cleaning picking up trash so really nice Singapore is a beautiful city but like I said it's only drawback is the cost um, I don't know if some of you some of you are probably aware but just to get a license and register get plates in here is like insane amount man and then uh, import tax on, on vehicles is insane. So I showed like a Maserati earlier and uh, I've seen Lamborghinis here and I don't even want to know what the people are paying for those because it's like 300% import tax for stuff like that. So, you know, Lambo is 225, 250 on the low end. Multiply that by three and you're looking at 750,000 plus and then on top of that, you throw in, I think it's around 100, 150,000 for your license and, and plates. That's how expensive it is here um, to get. And then people have special plates that they bid and on, you know, they get like the number seven on their plate. They pay like a million dollars, which is insane to me just to have a number on your plate. But a lot of people here have big money and I guess uh, they have enough to spend on stuff like that. So showing you a little glimpse of Singapore park life and uh, we'll show you some more food here yes that is a Ferrari this place is ridiculous. All right, we're on a walk to another food center, hawker center, whatever you want to call it. Just want to show these uh, what I think is government uh, government housing, which they have a lot of here in Singapore. They take care of the people. Uh, it could be a private one, but they, they all there's so many of them similar. You see right here, they got like outside area, seating area, kind of community thing. Over here, it looks like they got a little bar slash restaurant in front of it. And around these development centers, like these high-rises and stuff, um, you'll see a lot of, like I said, community center. But you'll also find your hawker centers and your food stalls. Sometimes they're smaller ones, maybe five or six stands. Um, but this one we're going to, Havelock, uh, seems to be a good size one. But yeah, a lot of uh, community type stuff in here. Check out this over here on the left hand side. We got a little, uh, I don't think it's Zumba. It's more a uh, relaxed dance class. Eh? Doing a community thing. It's pretty cool. But, uh, you know, if you have to live in a high rise type building, I, I think you would want it to be here in Singapore, man. Super clean city, super safe city, uh, lots of affordable food, even even when the uh, everything else here seems seems expensive. But I assume these uh, government high rises here are at least at an affordable rate. So, I'll show you the uh, Havelock Center here in a, in a sec. This is a. Uh, the Hawker Center. We basically came in the back way because we're sneaky. Oh shit, we got grilling. <laughs> and uh, this is a uh, strikeout. Even though online this shows this place open to like, what did it show it? Like 10.30 open? 11 11 p.m. Havelock Road Cooked Food Center. You can see most of the places are still just breakfast and lunch. I see one, two, three, kind of four. I don't. I don't think they're even open. So I won't even count that one. Three, three stands open. So uh, we may be hitting another one from here. Maybe going over 
so it looks like a little stand or restaurant over there so we'll figure it out and show you but I'm not gonna video anymore here I mean everything's closed up All right, so we struck out at that Havelock Hawker Center. Uh, five minutes walk from there. We didn't even look on a map. We just started walking. Found this place, Food Loft. So we're gonna go in here, check out their uh, check out their food. So let's go. All right, this place ain't huge, but we got here come common grill, Hong Kong style roasted, which is always good. Some different meats. Xiang La Xiang Mala Hot Pot. I'm butchering the hell out of these names. Maru Hachi. Okay, chicken and rice. Chicken and rice is huge here in Singapore. Xin Fang Seafood. And Jin Shang Mix Veggie Rice Porridge Joint. So, pretty good amount of choices. Hello. Pretty good choices in there. Let's uh, figure out what we're gonna eat and we'll show you the food. All right, got our food from Wing Fook. Make sure I pronounce that right, Fook. Hong Kong style roasted. I got the char siu and roasted pork, five bucks. Miss Cecilia got the soya sauce, chicken and rice, $3.50. So there's hers, looks pretty good, a lot of rice. Get soup with it as well. Soup. And you see the uh, roasted pork and char soup. And uh, got some spicy sauce, some peppers. So, uh, Coke and bottle of water was like two fifty. So you're looking at eleven Singapore dollars for everything you see on the table. So it's about uh, eight bucks probably. Yo, ready to eat? Yeah. All right, we'll get to eating. Everything looks good. Mr. Say, try the soup. Good? What do you think it is? Pork? Yeah. All right. There's the uh, menu for this Wing Fook Hong Kong. Highly recommend for the taste and for the price. Check out this building right here. It's like 15, 16 floors high. It's like uh, all stuff for like your house, carpets, teak furniture, antique furniture, Tempur-Pedic beds. But look at the, all their like showrooms. It, it, it looks like a apartment building, but it's actually individual retail stores, man just kind of weird. I don't know. All right, we were out walking around next to the river. We ended up at the same uh, food center that we ate at before, but that's all right. We got some different food, we'll show you. Mississippi's got a black pepper fried rice. We got some green chilies. And I've got a black pepper beef with uh, regular rice. So, looks pretty good. This was uh, $12 for these two dishes. And how much is the drink?
It's like uh, three something for the two drinks, like 380, I think. So 12, 15, 80. We'll just call it 16 bucks, 16 Singapore dollars. So probably about 11, 12 bucks US. So get to eating.